confidence intervals about a population mean. Less objective, compute a point estimate of the population mean. If you recall, a point estimate is the value of a statistic that estimates the value of a parameter. In this video, we're going to take x bar and we're going to estimate mu. So when we look for the estimation for mu, the true population mean, we're going to use x bar, the sample mean, and that is our best point estimate of the true population mean mu. Let's do an example. A social networking website allows its users to add friends, send messages, and update their personal profiles. The following represents a random sample of the number of friends for 40 users of Facebook. Find a point estimate of the population mean mu. This is the raw data. We have 40 users of Facebook. So to compute the sample mean, we add up the number of friends divided by the number of users, 40, and we get 130.8. So the point estimate for the mean of the number of friends for all users of Facebook is 130.8 friends. Let's look at another example. The typical US mobile subscriber sends and receives more text messages than phone calls according to research released by the Nelson Mobile 2008. Say that we are interested in the mean number of text messages sent or received for a typical college student, and that's ages 18 to 24, per month. A random sample of 500 college students, aged 18 to 24, yields a mean of 729 text messages per month. So the point estimate for mu would be x bar, and that is given as 729. Now just as we've seen in 9.1, estimating population proportion, we know that by taking multiple random samples from a population will tend to yield multiple values of x bar. Each one is a valid estimate for mu. This implies, of course, that any single estimate of mu is unlikely to be exactly correct. This is known as sampling error. So what we need is a range of values we can expect that would capture the true but unknown value of population mean. These range of values is called a confidence interval. And we'll discuss a confidence interval in our next video. Thanks for watching.